All right, hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome to the Sega One Complete with me, your girl, No Fuses. Now, I have never played this game nor this series before. From my understanding, this is a remake of the original. All I know about it is that this little kid with purple hair is trying to be the Demon King. That's it, that's all I know about this game. But I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I thought to give it a shot. So without further ado, here we go. King Kridrevskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Okay. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. Of course. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later, Is their prince awake? You heard that that punch he just did? What? Good God! This brat just won't wake up. Look at what she's using. You, she's using swords, machine guns. Of, uh, I don't know what to call that. A big spike ball and a drill, and he still didn't wake up. <laughs> Man, he he's sleeping real good. Well, if that's the case, there's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the great Laharl? Laharl? Okay. Oh, Prince! I'm glad you're still alive. Who said I was dead? I was just taking a nap. In a coffin? Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? Well, I was having a hard time waking you up. Are you sure you weren't trying to kill me instead? No! Uh, I mean, yes. I, I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> Whatever. So, what is it? I don't know if it's just me, but... Is, the, is is his voice actor a girl? It, it, his voice kind of sounds a little girly to me, just just a tiny bit. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look look, uh, look into that. You better have a good reason for waking me up. Oh yeah. Big news! Your father, King Krzyzewski, has died. Don't say this so cheerfully. Oh, your father died. <laughs> That's why I was trying to wake you up. You know. The usual. <laughs> hey, what? When? Two years ago. Oh, He's like, what? Wait a second. So, you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? So he wasn't aware? Yep. Yup? Why didn't you wake me up earlier? That's what I'm saying, like, if it happened two years ago, why didn't nobody get him, like, immediately? Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? Hitting me with ginormous weapons? The Netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. Well, it's the Netherworld. So that's what I would expect it to do. It's not my fault if some other demon steals the title of Overlord. So he's trying to be the Overlord, not the Demon King. I mean, they're technically the same thing, kind of, but whatever. What? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? <laughs> How bold of them. I shall show no mercy, for I am Laharl, the rightful heir to the throne. <laughs> that la That's like... What a, that's like the 90s villain laugh. Like, that's what that is right there. That's that old school villain laugh. Your humble vassal Etna will accompany you. Etna joined the party. Episode 1, Prince of the Netherworld. I was really expecting the narrator to say this title, but okay. 
Okay, we can move now. All right. You can walk really fast. Can we? Okay. A nice sword, but it's shit. Not a single brown left. God dang. <laughs> A lovely morning star. A lovely morning star. What? A cool looking drill. Yeah, that she used on your freaking head. Is this the throne room? No? Oh, who's this? Monty. Is it. I'm gonna say Monty. This is just like you, Prince, taking a two year nap. So he does this often? I only planned on napping for about 10 days. Hmm, something's not right. Only for 10 days? I wish I could sleep for 10 days. With no care in the freaking world. Can I go around this game? All the royal vassals left the castle shortly after the king died. Even with me still around? Well, you were sleeping. They must have forgotten about you. Wow. He said the only person left is a sleepy kid. Yeah, let's bounce. Oh well. Looks like I wasted my time digging that grave for you. He dug a grave. I mean, we were asleep in a coffin, so I can't even be too mad at that. I'll put you in a grave instead. Ghosts? It's like someone just took the, the T off and just put an S there and just said, Ghosts. Good morning, Prince. How are you feeling? Couldn't be worse. My body feels really stiff from sleeping too much. Why don't you warm up to the tutorial map? Go see the dimensional gatekeeper and she'll send you there. Gargo? In order to prevent intruders, I am close all the gates. Please talk to the dimensional gatekeeper if you'd like to leave the castle. Yeah, whatever. You probably just didn't want to watch the gate. I feel the breeze, dude. This castle's getting old. Maximilian? It's your problem, Prince. I, Lumnus, am at your service, but just know about a weapon. Music shop. Oh, she's so cute! Construction, please come back later. Aww. It items can be purchased at the Rosen Queen Company, Netherworld Branch. Each character can equip up to four items. A character can equip one weapon and three other items, such as armor. Monsters can only equip weapons from the monster only weapons category. It is best to equip the weapon that suits the character's inherent strengths. Welcome to the Rose and Queen Company, Netherland Branch. We're here as the Rose and Queen work hard day and night to offer a selection of merchandise that customers want. Our selection is constantly changing. If you don't find something you want, try coming back at a later time. Please take your time. and Queen Company, Netherland Branch. I suggest you equip weapons that are well suited for each character. If you equip a warrior with a sword, this level of weapon mastery will quickly rise. You can have characters with weapons that are not best for them, but their weapon mastery will rise with a sword rate. Regardless of a character's ability with a sword, a sword special techniques cannot be used unless a sword is equipped. It's best to focus on each character's special to start with. Eat, sleep, and do anything you want all day. It's so good to be a demon. Have you ever thought of working for me? <laughs> of course not. Okay. This is the Idle Weapon Gateway Center. If you're not, we're not open yet. Nothing's open yet. Dark Assembly. 
the assembly is currently not in session. What does it do? You can just tell me. There are many features in this game, like a dark assembly in the item world. Ask the appropriate people for more info. Don't worry, you can still beat the game with minimal knowledge. Okay, nice to know, because I have minimal knowledge about this game. My records capture the memories of the netherworld. Here you may view the history of the netherworld. If you get an item, it will record and will display it even if you get rid of it. Though this is just a record, it might be useful to you as a guide. Records aren't worth any money or anything, but they can be fun. How you use my records depends on you. What do you wish to do? Let's not do any of this for right now. There's always someone better. You should keep working hard. Hospital. Welcome to the Netherworld Hospital. Here we treat your wounds and heal any and all damage you may have taken. We will, of course, charge you accordingly. You can reprise this based on the total HP and SP that has been recovered. So please, go get thrashed about. Oh God. Get treated. I mean, I haven't gotten beaten up yet. Have you saved yet? When you want to save, press X to open the menu and select it. Okay, thank you for telling me because I had no clue how I was going to do that. You can only save in the Overlord's Castle once you've entered the area and that there is no turning back, so be careful. Ah, Thank you for stopping me then. Alright, let's do this. Dimension Guide. I am Dimensional Gatekeeper. I will input the clues for the desired destination, Prince, and you will instantly be transported there. Please select where you would like to go. I mean, I guess I have no choice, not giving much options here. Now then, time for a little warm up. I feel a little rusty. Yeah, you've been asleep for two freaking years. We've got company. How convenient. Stray demons, huh? Allow me, Prince. You may be a little out of practice after your long slumber. Don't worry, I came prepared. Come on, Prinny Squad! Get your butts out here! <laughs> oh my god, I was just like, um, are they gonna come out? Think of this pretty squad I hired. They're my loyal servants. They'll do anything I say. Sure, because you had to yell at them for them to come out. Oh my. Are you sure about that? See? They're loyal. Yeah, after a good beating. Does it make sense to beat up your allies before a battle? Anyways, I think we've made those demons wait long enough already. Hey, you're right. How nice of them to be so patient. Yeah, that's considerate of them. To show my appreciation, I'll only beat them half to death. You're so kind. If I were you, I'd beat them all the way to death. Oh my god. Kind? Stop that. That word gives me goosebumps. Damn it! I take it back. I'm gonna beat them all the way to death. Mm, he's still a kid. So quick tempered. And it looks like carrying out my plan will be a lot easier than I thought. Uh, and what plan is that? You say something. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. So, what are your orders, Prince? You do remember how to fight, right? Basics of battle. Just in case you forget, let me explain the basics of battle. Move the cursor over the base panel and press A to select the characters you wish to dispatch. Oh, it's doing it for me. I'm literally not touching the controller right now. If you want to cancel an order to dispatch a character, move the cursor over to the character and press B. 
for example, if you press spring here, you can cancel the action. Oh. Now let's set your command to this dispatch character. First, move him next to an enemy. Again, the game's doing it for me. I'm not, I'm not even touching the controller right now. And select A. You have now assigned an action, however the character won't attack immediately. If you want to execute the action that you assigned, open the menu and select either execute or end turn. Oh, I better remember that. There have been too many times in games like these that I would end my turn up and be like, no! <laughs> oh my god, th those were horrible times. In this case, let's click execute. See, the character attacked. Assign actions X to execute. Remember this, you'll be using it a lot. If you assign actions to multiple characters, they'll be executed in the order that you assign them. Be careful, you can't cancel actions once you choose to execute. Okay, so you can't take it back. You can't rewind. After you've done issuing commands, open the menu and end your turn. It will then be the enemy's turn. Ow. 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 <laughs> Ow. Why did I have to be the one to do this? I'm the next overlord for crying out loud. She's like, doesn't look like I care. That's what her face is. That was an example of something not to do. Only it would rush straight into the enemy alone. You made me do it! Character skilled in battle like our prince here can be revived by paying Hell, HL, to the castle's hospital. If all your dispatch characters are defeated, the game will be over. So the big idea is to gang up on one character and be living daily to them, huh? Exactly, Prince. Remember to use your head next time. You're the one who told me to do it! Team attacks sometimes occur when allies are positioned next to attacking characters. If several characters attack the same enemy in a row, a combo will result and great damage will be dealt. If you want to know more, press X and select help from the menu. Okay, I think it's letting me do it now. Alright, cool. Like, how powerful are they? Like, level 1? Okay. Of course they are. I don't even know why I bothered to ask. Are they all level 1? Wait, can I, like, do several? Okay, I can. Alright, cool, I can. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I already forgot how to bring back a character. Cause it says you have to like, pay. I was like, well, how do you pay?
Okay, probably for this one, I probably can't revive anybody. That's what it's looking like. Okay, let's see how this goes. Stray demons? How oh, no, I wish I could just toss them. Well, why don't you? You can! <laughs> Lifting and throwing. For our ignorant prince, let me explain the commands of lift and throw. <laughs> In situations like this where you're too far from your attempts to reach, Wait, can you throw a character? That's hilarious. Pick a character by selecting lift. Hey, stop! Stop it, Edna! Then select throw, and you'll have to decide on a direction distance too. You'll throw to your next enemy. Oof. See? That covered a lot of ground. Now you're able to attack. You can use lift and throw on both allies and enemies. Keep in mind that only humanoid characters can lift and throw. Monsters can't do it. By making you excuse in these commands, you can extend your attack range. It's very helpful in moving around on that, so don't forget. There are other uses for the commands besides covering ground, like holding an enemy so he or she can't move, saving injured allies from danger, etc. By the way, pretties will explode when they're thrown, so handle them with care. Oh, snap. Dude, you got care. They didn't even know that they explode if they get thrown. If you throw an enemy at an enemy, there will be other fun uses going to be discovered. Try experimenting. That's it? I'm gonna throw you next time. Oh, one more thing. A character will take damage if the turn ends and you still still holding someone. Wait, a character will take damage if the turn ends and she's still holding- Okay, so whoever's holding- Whoever's holding a person or a monster, then they'll take damage if they're still holding the turn ends. Okay, got it. Alright, let's bring up my mans. Where's your range?
to Tech Edna. This is an ally. Even the game is like, this is an ally. What are you doing? What, what happened? Oh, enter. God damn, I'm telling you, I'm gonna forget this so many times. can't move here. trying to get at her. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's do this. <laughs> he had to dance to level up. God, everyone's going after Edna. Good stop. See the little thing saying, oh. oh I don't know if you guys heard it, but lightning is going on outside. It scared me, I jumped. <laughs> Pants. Interesting. These are geographical features that are attuned to the elements of the universe. Criticization of those elements results in geo symbols, like the one right here. Well, that doesn't explain anything, so let me clarify a few things. Let me explain geo effects, a system which will heavily influence battles. Take a good look at the color panels on the area map. Okay. No 
that enemy boost 50% is displayed at the top of the screen. This means that when an enemy is on a blue pin, his or her attack and defense will be powered by 50%. Okay, so don't let them near the blue crystal. Got it. This is not good for you, so it's wise to get rid of this effect. You might be wondering, where does it come from in the first place? Why, looky here, I just found an object label, enemy boost, on the blue panel. This guy's the culprit. How obvious was that? I know, I was just kind of like, what was the point of that? This object is called a geo symbol, and as long as it is on the colored panel, all panels of the same color will be affected. Let's toss it somewhere. The fat image is no longer on any of the blue panels, but... Huh? The GFA is now affecting the red panels. That doesn't change much. Hmm, let's destroy it then. Oh, before we do that, do you see the square display in the GFA symbol, symbol window? Uh, status window as its symbol. Remember that. Now it's time to attack. Go ahead, Prince. What just happened? Huh? The red panels are now blue. Remember the blue square in the stats room? That's what I was referring to. Destroying the blue shoes soon will turn all panels, which are all the same color as the one in it was blue. Oh my god, I cannot read. Damage will be dealt to anyone standing on one of those panels at the same time. Be sure to take that into consideration. No damage will be dealt if you destroy the blue sim on a blue panel. No panels will change color either. You can build up your bonus gauge by changing the color of geo panels. You are able to use what you've learned to destroy all geo panels, then you will receive a panel determinate. Oh my god, so much reading! No, it's fast word. I get the gist of it. I get it. But for who? Oh, it raises my head. Okay, so this is good for me. This helps out the enemy, so get rid of this one. This one's special. Can I just take out all my guys at once? Yep. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it has one thing left. God dang it.
God dang! It wiped out everyone but me! Jeez! Hmm. I'm starting to get the hang of things. I thought they were gonna talk. Okay, then are you ready to request some allies at the Dark Assembly? Then you get to create characters who will become your little pupils. Little pupils. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Alright, let's go. Welcome to the Dark Assembly. Here you can create characters who will submit proposals. You need to submit proposals you have to have energy known as mana. You can gain that mana by defeating enemies. If you want, you can use mana you have right now to make a new character. A cleric might be useful for healing, or a warrior brawler might come in handy while attacking. If Prince Little makes the characters, they'll become his little pupils. Manage their group carefully. Okay. What would you like to do? <laughs> It seems I have the most mana, so... Promotion exam? Test characters for dark rank promotion? What? First, let's make a new character before we do this. Okay. Let's create a new character. Ooh. Okay, what do we got? Okay, we got... I need a healer. I really think I need a healer right now. Which one's the healer type? I think the one with the staff, so who has it? Okay, I think you do. You just find me good with staffs. Wind magic with staffs. Ice magic. Okay, who can do some healing magic? Goes and throw a handle with care. You're from the neighborhood ghost. What? Loves to play pranks. Okay, you're the healer. You're a healer. Who's more? seem to be more powerful than she is, so... Good for nothing, what?! <laughs> I don't, I don't want to give her this, I don't want to give her good for nothing quality. Good for nothing, mana needed, zero. no approval required, so... <laughs> no! I don't want to give her... Okay, what happens if I do the other one? Let's check the other one. Still nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. He's a good for nothing piece of shit. <laughs> That's literally what they're saying right now. Oh, crap. I gotta make a name, too. Um... She looks like a Fiona. Let's let's name her Fiona. Let's put like a heart next to it too. <laughs> Just for kicks and giggles. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let's, let's just put it back. Alright. What, what can't do anything? Uh, do I have to put it down to zero? Okay, I had to make it zero. It couldn't be in the negatives. We're 
for right now, that's all I'll do. Can't believe she's got good for nothing quality. No! I cannot believe that. Okay, we're all pretty here when you go to the hospital. Welcome to the living hospital. Yeah, everybody needs to get treated like. I can say heal all, but how much would it be? Not that much. Hey, Prince, have you gone to the hospital? You should make sure you heal everybody after a battle. Treatment may not be free. It costs HL. But please heal us, too, dude. Then we gave you 300 HL. Alright, nice. type of armor too just something so she doesn't die immediately all right there you go girl something to to, to stop the scratches, you know, so you live just a little bit longer, you know, because I would like for you to live. Are you open now? This is the gateway to the Iron World. The Iron World is one of the most dangerous places in the world. Walk in and bear me, my dad. The topography, geopalace, and geosome change every time, so you might run into gaps in your path. I'm not to blame if you enter without an item to escape. <laughs> no, um... She just told me, she's like, huh, yeah, um, go out there at your own peril. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, then please give it a big fat like and subscribe to the channel. I'm really liking the games so far. Like, I, it's very cute and it's very, like, like, RPGs are my thing. Like, so to me... This is this is really fun and I'm really loving the story so far. And we're just gonna we're just gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see how where the story takes us. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye! See you later.